Hello guys and welcome to Friday. We are on day 16 of our hatching calendar. I have mine in front of me. I hope you guys have yours as well. We can color in day 16 and today we're actually going to talk about Saturday and Sunday as well because it's the weekend report. Um, this is actually the second time I've shot this video. Fun fact because I made almost all of this video up until handling of egg number six and then my video crashed so I'm doing this a second time for you guys right now and nobody ever gets to see the first one but once we get to egg number six we'll be back on track so I have in front of me my hatching journal and we are going to the weekend report page 16 17 18 right there so when we do our weekend report you guys can draw and write about any part of what we're about to talk about if you want to draw the candling, a picture from what we see that way, write a sentence about that. If you want to draw some of the pictures that we start showing you with these, totally up to you. The weekend report, you can do one day or three days. It's all good. So I have in front of me the incubator. I filmed this at a different angle today because I wanted you to be able to see all that, see all me, and see the egg candler when we get to that part. So our incubator should be turning any minute now very exciting you'll get to see it from a different angle um this is the little water spot right here boop, 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 that I put the water in and the water is so important for their air pockets inside their egg our picture today from day 16 um, you can see that big air pocket at the bottom and when we candle we'll get to see that air pocket for some of them as well and the amount of water we have in the air makes that air pocket bigger or smaller and we need the perfect size air pocket because our duckies actually first hatch into that air pocket. They're gonna, we won't even see that part, but they're gonna hatch into that air pocket. Peck, 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 and they'll hatch in there and they'll go like this. What are they doing? They're breathing. They're taking their first breaths in that air pocket. And once they get all their air out of that air pocket from their breathing, they'll start to panic because there's no air left. And they'll panic and panic and panic and panic and then they'll start pecking a hole in that shell. And that's what we call a pip. That first little peck in the shell is a pip. And so once they pip out of their shell, that's when we'll start to see a little crack in the shell. And that's when we'll start live streaming. I'll be doing that on YouTube. Whoop, there it goes. It's turning. So all of our eggs are rotating when it turns. Oh, that's so fun. It does this every single hour. So 24 times a day, our eggs get rotated. A mummy duck, I don't think it does, maybe it doesn't do it as much, but our incubator does it every single hour. Um, let me finish telling you about this and then we'll talk more about that incubator. So our duckies will pip through the shell and then they do something that we just kind of nickname it. We call it unzipping, they're unzipping the shell. So they make that first little crack and then they just turn and crack and turn and crack and turn and crack and they cut away, they like unzip the bottom of their shell and then they'll stretch out and crack their shell. They'll push the whole thing open and they'll pop out of their shell. And then they mostly just sleep for a very long time because it is so much work. But that is why our air pocket is so important. They need enough air in there for them to catch their breath, breathe, enjoy the air, and then start hatching out. And so if I have the air, the water in the air, the humidity, if I have that too high or too low, it can mess up that air pocket. So this little pocket, this little yellow hole is where I pour the water and I check this every single day and make sure that I always have it where it needs to be. And then I'll show you on this little camera, but we also have the hygrometer in there. That's that tiny little white thing. That hygrometer is what measures the water in there, measures the humidity for me. And so I can actually check that on my phone whenever I want to make sure we have the perfect amount of water in the air. So that is the humidity part. Our incubator itself keeps them warm. We talked about that. On the very top, it tells me how many days are left and what the temperature is inside our incubator. So it makes sure that it's always at the right temperature. So let's find out what is happening inside our eggs on day 16. So today, our duck is starting to look like a duck. Mostly we'll just see it getting more duck-like over the next two weeks. It's got all of its really important things now. So we're, we saw it get its, um, <clears throat> we saw it start from that tiny little red dot at the very beginning. We saw it get the blood vessels. We saw the heart start beating. 
Um, we saw it get its brain, its little legs, and its wings. We saw it start to get feathers. And so that, did you see my doggy come down the stairs? <laughs> so that, all the important stuff is starting to grow and is already there. But now we're gonna see our duck start to get bigger and bigger, and get more feathers, and it's just gonna start looking more like a duck. So day 16, today, it is starting to look like a duck. On day 17, Saturday, that's tomorrow, the ear openings can be seen, the toes and webbing are now all fully formed, and the down feathers, that's what they call the duck's first feathers, they're extra, extra soft when they're a little baby duck. Um, and they're starting on the neck, on the thighs, and the wings. And so day 17, something else we can say is now it has toes or webbed feet. Um, and so that's be our sentence for day 17. And then on Sunday, day 18, uh, our little baby duckling turns its head towards the bigger part of our egg. So we have, there's our Sunday. Uh, it's turning its head because it's gonna try to start getting its way towards that air pocket, right? That's the magic spot for it to hatch. So it needs to start turning around. So it's starting to turn its head towards that air pocket on Sunday. And we now see feathers all over its body. So we're no longer using a big red dot in our picture. Now we can start making it look more like a duck or using whatever the colors are you think a duck is. We did ours in brown when we made them. Two years ago, we had some kindergartners that did these for us. And so they colored their duck brown. Whatever color you think your duck will be, you can color it that. Um, I have seen black ducks and white ducks and brown ducks. I've never seen like a rainbow colored duck. Um, so we still want to try to keep it to real colors. Think about a duck that you've actually seen, a yellow duck. Um, but that's what we want to keep it to. And so for our sentence for day 18, something we could write on Sunday would be, the duck is turning its head. So those are some sentence ideas you can use. And we'll put all those up on the screen at the end. But the other reason I kind of did this funny angle here is because today's the day we candle our eggs again. Do you remember last week we candled them? I'll put a little, um, I'll put one of the videos up on the screen so you can remember what they looked like last week. But there's our little ducky with the, you see the little red spot and the blood vessels. We see that black spot that might have been its eye. Some of them we saw some little movements or its heart beating. So we're gonna do that again today and they should look different. Our duckies should look different today than what they did last week. So we have six duckies to look at. We don't have x-ray vision, so we're not gonna see feathers and um, we're not gonna really see their, their bills or anything, but it's gonna be just like last week. We're gonna see that dark shadow. Which one should we start with? Should we do them in order again? I got a dog laying at my feet too. I don't want to step on him. This is number six. six nine, one. For you. Okay, one is right in front of me. Let's do number one. Are you ready to find out what's happening? I did wash my hands before I did this too. Well, 
Good thing we've got six more to compare it to. Let's put number one back and see what's happening in number two. We don't have x-ray vision, so we can't actually see inside, inside the eggs. We can just shine the light through and see. We'll hold it still there, because it looks like we can see some movement. It's kind of wiggling around in there. That's a good sign. They're also all very different, right, than what we saw last time. And I feel like that's a good thing. You see them in there? Again, we just got that big dark spot that's our duck growing. We got all those nice blood vessels around it. We've never had all of our eggs hatch either. Even when we see stuff happening in them like this all the time, sometimes they just don't hatch. And that's okay. Six ducks is a lot of work. Last time we did this, we got seven duck eggs and only three of our duckies hatched. You just never know how many will actually hatch out of the egg. We can watch them grow, we can cheer them on, So I'm 
finished handling the last egg, number six, and my video just crashed. I just lost all of that video. So I'm candling egg number six. I have the actual candling, so I don't have to do that all again. But we missed all of the actual video from that side. That's kind of frustrating. But hey, that's life. So egg number six. blood vessels. Got that big dark spot. That bright, bright light coming through is going through the air pocket. Makes it a little bit hard to see the dark spot when we got that big bright light spot. But if I go over to here, you can see it better. See if we can see them move at all, number six. veins though, eh? Look at those nice veins. See some tiny little wiggles. Not too much though. Mmm. Okay, let's put him back before he gets too cold. Egg number six. six of our duck eggs and we saw I think number five was our one that wiggled and wiggled and wiggled the little dancer um, so very exciting to get to see what's happening inside those eggs and like I said before too we don't know if they're all gonna hatch when we did seven duck eggs two years ago only three of them hatched so I don't know what happens sometimes they just they didn't grow strong enough to hatch or they didn't get big enough or they were just grocery store eggs I'm not an expert when I candle them either, so I'm kind of seeing the same things as you and taking a lot of guesses, but that is okay. So on your weekend report, remember you can write any part from what we did today. You can talk about the candling, you can talk about what we're actually seeing. I'm gonna put up a little slide with all three pictures and a little sentence idea for all three of them. Um, and you can copy one of those, you can copy all three of those, or you can make your very own sentence. But whatever you do, please take a picture of it and send it to us. We have less than two weeks left until our ducks attach. And we will get to candle them again next week. I'm gonna try to keep it on Fridays. I think that's a good day to do it on. We'll do a bit of fun video that day like this. So I'll see you again um, next week to do more candling and we'll learn what else is happening in those days. But for now, have a great weekend. Fill in those journals, send us those pictures, and we will see you again on Monday. Bye, guys.
let's just keep going. So that is all six of our duck eggs. And we saw, I think number five was our one that wiggled and wiggled and wiggled, the little dancer. Um, it's very exciting to get to see what's happening inside those eggs. And like I said before too, we don't know if they're all gonna hatch. When we did seven duck eggs two years ago, only three of them hatched. So I don't know what happens. Sometimes they just, they didn't grow strong enough to hatch or they didn't get big enough or they were just grocery store eggs. I'm not an expert when I candle them either. So I'm kind of seeing the same things as you and taking a lot of guesses, but that is okay. So on your weekend report, remember you can write any part from what we did today. You can talk about the candling, you can talk about what we're actually seeing. I'm gonna put up a little slide with all three pictures and a little sentence idea for all three of them. Um, and you can copy one of those, you can copy all three of those, or you can make your very own sentence. But whatever you do, please take a picture of it and send it to us. We have less than two weeks left until our duckies hatch. And we will get to candle them again next week. I'm gonna try to keep it on Fridays. I think that's a good day to do it on. We'll do a bit of a fun video that day like this. So I'll see you again um, next week to do more candling and we'll learn what else is happening in those eggs. But for now, have a great weekend, fill in those journals, send us those pictures, and we will see you again on Monday. Bye guys.